Welcome back to the Civic Sci TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause, bringing you the latest this week in the world of civic science news. A new research paper published a study on how incorporating art into an upper-level undergraduate ecology course influenced students. Science and art students paired up and took a field course together, presenting a research project in a traditional poster format, but also with an art project. Students improved their understanding of science and the connections between art and science. Students also became more confident in their science skills, developed more professional end products compared to traditional science teams, and gained a broader perspective on future science careers. This ties to a report that came out earlier this year on the landscape of art science collaboration programs. Researchers compiled a database of 130 art science programs. They are all different, but certain findings emerged. They found that these programs are transformative and generative, allowing scientists and artists to connect and collaborate. Art and science should be weighted equally with concrete goals from the start. They are also more inclusive for folks excluded from traditional art or science spaces alone, but inclusion initiatives need to be incorporated into programs at inception. They also can raise dialogue about science, facilitating conversations between scientists and stakeholders of differing values. The report recommends designing for cultures of power sharing, more emotional, aesthetic, and ethical dialogues, and to have more holistic evaluation measures and flexible grants from funders. You can find the full report at the link in the description below. The 2024 EU Prize for Citizen Science has been announced. The jury, consisting of experts from across science, academia, and community engagement, reviewed 280 submissions of participatory science projects from across the European Union. The grand prize went to increase project for advancing knowledge on seed preservation and empowering civil society in rural areas. The Digital Communications Prize went to COACT for mental health for its use of digital technologies to create a personalized approach for those with mental health problems. The Diversity and Collaboration Prize went to CPAC's Participatory Science Against Marine Pollution, fulfilling the gap between society and the sea. Learn more about the winning projects at the link in the description below. They also have a series of recommendations, like including participants and project inception and capacity building and educational metrics in the project scope. There is a call for more technology-focused projects and integrating artistic practices. The National Libraries of Medicine had a workshop on creating equitable open science, or the practice of making scientific research more accessible to everyone. They gathered a small group of open science and knowledge translators to discuss ways to build future collaborations. They created a vision for the future of open science within NLM and other organizations for more equitable open science. Stay tuned for new developments in this space as conversations are ongoing. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's Civic Science News Roundup. We hope to see you next week.